We return up the coast to surf where a small turning Y leads to a branch line that runs to the city of Lompoc, California and then to the diatomaceous earth plant up in White Hills. The run from Surf to the yard in Lompoc is just under 10 miles of flat, 10 mile an hour track. Two, and once in a while, three locomotives are needed for the last four miles up to the White Hills plant with its curves and 2.2% grades. locals run past fields of flowers grown for commercial use. Let's change trains to run by that small station shelter again. The second car back was a helium tank car that will be dropped off at Vandenberg Air Force Base on the return trip to Guadalupe. Once in the yard at Lompoc, most of the cars are dropped off since only one empty car is going up to White Hills on this trip. After the 1988 merger of the SP and the Rio Grande, units like these black and orange GP40s numbered 3136 and 3097 started showing up on SP's trains. Street running here makes the run more interesting, if not for the crew, at least for rail fans. Trains run the rest of the way from here with the locomotives on the back and sometimes a front and back combination depending on what switching is needed up at the plant. Once in the plant, the single empty is dropped off and a number of loads will be brought down. Diatomaceous earth is from the microscopic skeletons of sea diatoms found in deposits left in ancient seabeds. It's used in insulation products, safe insect killing products, cosmetics, toothpaste and pool filters to mention only a few uses. Some grades are safe enough to even use in food products. Back to our first train. This day needed three GP40s. All these empties are needed up at the White Hills plant. This crew brought an equally large train of loaded cars back down on the return trip.
the three units back their train up the hill with the caboose first. Without the caboose, some crew member would have to ride on the front hopper car holding a radio to communicate with the engine crew. This special caboose is a more comfortable way to accomplish the same task. The return trip drifts down the hill under dynamic braking with loaded cars. Back to surf with another Lompoc White Hills local. This one has number 4859, a speed riding GP38 with the later letter style influenced from the 1988 SP Rio Grande merger. The second unit, number 4806, is another SP unit patched to identify the Union Pacific's 1996 merger with the SP. Someday every unit here will be in UP's yellow and gray paint. Time will tell how long the Lompoc line will need rail service as the decades roll along. 